Do you ever wonder what drives certain people to see the things differently from the rest of us? Since the birth of Christ and the appearance of other religious figures, there has been massive documentation and translations of the great mysteries surrounding the life and times of these immortal figure. None more so than during the Renaissance and medieval periods where there was an overwhelming interest in biblical events and every effort was made to hide the great secrets uncovered about biblical figures in plain sight, in paintings nonetheless. We will put forward six pieces of evidence hidden in paintings where there are obvious questions to be asked but not necessarily answered. We hope it will make for a good debate in the comments section below. Just wait until you hear this. At number six on our list, the Madonna with St. Giovannino sightings of a UFO. In addition to getting our attention with the rock hard baby Jesus abs, Dominico Ghirlandaios Madonna with St. Giovannino also features an interesting little blob hovering in the sky over Mary's left shoulder. Above Mary's left shoulder, we observe a disc shaped object that appears to be shining. It is an object which the artist depicted in huge detail, making sure it would stand out in his work of art. To the right of the painting, we can see a man who is holding his right arm above his eyes, signifying that this object was extremely bright, while in the upper left-hand corner, we can see an object that looks like the sun. Dominico Ghirlandaio's masterpiece is just one of numerous medieval paintings depicting bizarre, disturbing, unidentified flying objects soaring around. This is not interpreted to be anything other than an object which is clearly flying. Does that not just blow your mind or what? Some have theorized that this depiction is the smoking gun proving that higher beings or the watchers are monitoring humanity's evolutionary progress. At number five, Michelangelo's The Sistine Chapel. According to one recent theory, the ceiling's nine episodes from the book of Genesis are a set of Kabbalistic messages with the poses of the figures spelling out letters in the Hebrew alphabet. David and Goliath from the letter Gimel, which symbolizes strength in the Jewish mystical system, all part of an attempt, on Michelangelo's part, it is argued, to create a bridge between Catholicism and Judaism. Other commentators, many of them doctors, believe it or not, have managed to piece together most of the human nervous system and other essential body parts in the ceiling's vast design. They noticed that God's throat and chest had anatomical irregularities, which were not present in any other figure in the fresco. Also, while the figures are illuminated diagonally from the lower left, God's neck is illuminated straight on. They concluded that what looks like clumsiness must have been deliberate work by the genius. It is a clear and deliberate attempt to point to progress of great importance. What is your interpretation of this? In at number four, the creation of Adam, the floating brain divinity. Another of Michelangelo's masterpieces, the creation of Adam, has endured not only as the most famous of the Sistine Chapel panels, but also as one of the single most iconic images of humanity. Michelangelo is recognized as one of the greatest painters and sculptors from the Italian Renaissance. What is not so widely known is that he was an avid student of anatomy who at the age of 17 began dissecting corpses from the church graveyard. Just like the well-documented progress of Leonardo da Vinci, something was driving Michelangelo in a quest for more knowledge and understanding. It was a thirst that was not so easy to quench. Now, a pair of American experts in neuroanatomy believe that Michelangelo did leave some anatomical illustrations behind in one of the most famous works, the Sistine Chapel. While some might dismiss this as a coincidence, experts suggest that it would be harder to explain that this was not Michelangelo's intention. Even complex components within the brain such as the cerebellum, optic chasm, and pituitary gland can all be found in the picture. As far as the sassy green sash running down the pond's spinal column guy who is holding God up, it follows the path of the vertebral artery perfectly. At three and number two on our list, The Last Supper, a mathematical and astrological puzzle plus a secret musical score. One of the most instantly recognized paintings in the world, The Last Supper, has also been the target of much speculation, usually centered around supposed hidden messages or hints found within the painting. Wait till you hear this. Slavisa Pesci, an information technologist, 
created an interesting visual effect by overlaying a semi-transparent mirrored version of the painting on top of the original. The result is that two figures that look like Templar knights appear at both ends of the table, while someone who is possibly holding an infant stands to Jesus' left. Giovanni Maria Palla, an Italian musician, has also indicated that the positions of hands and loaves of bread can be interpreted as notes on a musical staff. And if read from right to left, as was characteristic of Leonardo's writing, they form a musical composition. Sabrina Froza Galizia, a Vatican researcher, claimed to have deciphered the mathematical and astrological puzzle in Leonardo's The Last Supper. She said that he foresaw the end of the world in a universal flood which would begin on March 21st, 4006 and end on November 1st that same year. She believed this would mark a new start for humanity. There is obvious significance to this masterpiece and there are probably hidden secrets within the painting which is still being revealed. It will continue to speculate debate and opinion throughout the world for generations to come. And at number one, you guessed it, the Mona Lisa, a real hidden code in her eyes. Will she ever give up her secrets? Intrigue is usually focused on her enigmatic smile. However, when viewed under a microscope, historians in Italy have discovered that by magnifying the eyes of the Mona Lisa, tiny numbers and letters can be seen. Experts say that barely distinguishable letters and numbers represent something of a real-life Da Vinci Code. In the right eye appear to be letters LV, which could well stand for his name, Leonardo Da Vinci, while in the left eye there are also symbols, but they are not as defined. Of course, it's very difficult to make them out clearly, but they appear to be the letters CE, or it could be the letter B. In the arc of the bridge in the background, the number 72 can be seen, or it could be an L and the number 2. Also, the number 149, with a fourth number erased, appears behind the picture, which suggests that da Vinci painted it when he was in Milan in the 1490s. You have to remember that the picture is almost 500 years old, so it is not as sharp and clear as when it was originally painted. With modern advancements in technology and preservation of the Mona Lisa, maybe one day we'll link the hidden symbols to Bible code features that are proving the greatest enigma from this time period. Maybe we will discover her secrets in the near future, but will it change the course of history? What do you guys make of these hidden codes in these paintings? We may not have the answers, but for now at least we have the questions.